All right. Hello guys, uh, it's Larry here again on uh, some DIY. Right now it's still brown out. They said that it's supposed to be uh, back, power be back around 7:30, but now this is a new message. There will be no message. No, uh, there will be a quiet time from now on until eight o'clock in the morning. From nine. Nine o'clock in the morning? No, from nine p.m. Oh, from nine p.m. to eight in the morning. Man, I. I, I thought it's only uh, Philippine power always having brownouts, but yeah. Anyway, that's what we get when you're living in the Poconos. Okay, uh, for my friends who are doing quail, chicks, chickens, you know, in the U.S. it's springtime right now. So, so a lot of people are doing hatchery, in incubation of eggs, ducks, quails, pheasants, and some other game birds. And... During brownout like this, it's really terrible. I tried to start my generator and I couldn't make it work. And I found out that it was the gas was leaking. So, uh, the idea is not working. Well, it's my fault. I didn't start it for not too long ago, about two years. So, anyway, right now my cheeks are cold. You see that? No light and no heat. But, just in case you're figuring out what those bottles are, it's this. It doesn't have to be milk. There's a vinegar and there's a milk bottle. What I did is very simple. Fill it up half with cold water and half of it with the boiling water. Yes, you boil the water and you fill it up. That will be your supplemental heat instead of your lump. It doesn't reach to 65 watts, but it's warm enough that they can survive until the power comes back. Okay? Another thing, what I'm doing right now is using candle. Here it is. See? It's my wife's flower, flower pot, but she never planted flowers for the last 100 years. So, I use it. Okay? So, what you're going to do is put a candle in the bottom. And followed by, uh, where's my metal stuff? Where's my metal thing? No, it's right over here. Okay? All right. That's it. Okay? Make sure that this pot has a hole. Okay? You turn it upside down. Just like that. Okay? And you put this pot. It doesn't have to be this kind of pot. This another bigger pot. As long as there's a hole in the top, that will work. Another thing, put a metal rod on it. This is a nail, you know, but you can use any metal rod that fits in here. Okay, put it that way. Because the metal can absorb heat and store heat and release heat. Then you put it like that. There you go. You have a makeshift emergency uh, heater for your chicks, broilers, quail, ducks, pheasants, whatever poultry you have with, by doing this. Just for emergency. Okay? Right. Tell me in your comments below how, how it is. Or if you're going to try it, of course, if you don't have brown out, just stick with the light. You know, it's safer. You know, you don't have potential burnout. Alright, thank you very much. Larry here again on DIY. Thank you.